Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Leslie, if you don't know me. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. Today's video, I'm going to be doing this little glam look here for you guys. I hope that you guys enjoy it. If you want to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started here. I have a few palettes that I want to play with. I don't know which ones I'm actually going to use, but I have this e.l.f. one, this ColourPop one, this other ColourPop one, I'm a Morphe, and the Dare to Create Morphe that came out for a holiday collection actually last year. I think it's still available to purchase now, but anyways, I really want to do a green, like an olive green glam look, so that's what we're going for today. So let's go ahead and get started here. We are going to prep the lids first with this. This is my Anastasia Eye Primer. And I still hate the packaging on this. I really do. But this primer is freaking amazing. So if you guys have the chance to pick it up, definitely pick it up. Just going to put that on my lid here. Just going to put it here on the back of my hand first. And... A little bit of this goes a long way guys so you guys definitely don't need a lot the packaging on this kind of sucks like if you guys can see there is some of the product on the little tube thing here but the primer is actually really good I really do like it you guys can see <laughs> you barely can go in with a little bit and it goes a very very long way I'm just using my finger to spread it out through my lid you can always use a brush if you want to, but I'm just keeping it simple and just using my finger. Your fingers are a great tool sometimes and definitely can warm up the product too and blend it into your lid. There is that. And I know I feel kind of weird because my brows are not done. I will go back and do those in a little bit. So now that those lids are prepped, I'm going to go in with this palette first. This is the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. It is really pretty. There's those shades in it. But I'm not going to use all of them. I'm just going to use some of the browns in here to do like a transition shade first. So that's what I want to do with that. So let's go ahead and I'm going to just start with a lighter color here, which is this shade up here. Start with that one above my crease closer to my brow bone so up here you guys probably wonder why I do this but for me it works out better this way if I have a transition shade even if you can't see it at the end the colors look better blended in together if you go from lighter to darker instead of just going in with one color at least for me it works better and I am bringing it in here to the inner corner. Not all the way in, of course, just here on this part here. Oh, and I'm using my Morphe E27 brush to do that. So now that I have that initial shade down, I'm going to start going just a little bit darker than that. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And with that shade, I'm going to go down a little bit more like towards my crease than anything else. And for that, I'm going to use the Morphe M573 brush. And tap out the axis and I'm going to start on my outer corner here pulling it up to the crease to meet that first shade that we put in and I'm just keeping this on the outer corner here I'm not bringing it in too much just on the outer corner and up in circular motions on the crease where you meet that other shade we just put down that lighter tan brown kind of shade I'm gonna grab a little bit more and do the same thing I just did. Going back with the first brush that I used, I'm not gonna put any additional product in it. I'm just going to blend it in together here. With those shades down, I'm gonna grab a matte green shade. I think I want to start with there's so many pretty greens in this palette that I don't know which one to start with I think we're gonna do this one right here this shade right there to start off with I'm gonna grab a smaller brush for this part a little bit more pointed brush 
Since I want to focus this also on the outer corner and on the edge of that eye, like the outer here, and just on the edge here of the crease. Okay. Ooh, look at how pretty that is. So still bringing it up to the crease here. And I did pull it in just a little bit here on the outer corner and into the inner corner a little bit. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go back out with this E27 brush and use that lighter brown that I used first from the ColourPop palette. And just make sure that it's nicely blended. And don't worry, we're gonna bring that brown in again a little bit later on once I have done a little bit more to the eye. And if you don't have these palettes, don't worry. You can use anything that you have at home. And now, I wanna go in with a smaller brush than that to get some other green here. This is a little bit of a darker green. And this is from the Dare to Create palette. I'm gonna use my Morphe M321 brush. And I'm going to go into this shade right here and that one, I'm going to focus it on the outer corner the most. I still want to keep it green or like olive green because I want to darken it out a little bit but I don't want to make it too dark then it just becomes black. I'm going to go back with my other Morphe palette and pick up that green that we used before here, this one, and blend that green out. And I'm not bringing it all the way in because I want a shimmer shade in there. But I do want this outer corner darker. So now I'm going to grab just a little bit of black. It can be any black that you have. I'm using the one from my ColourPop palette. And just right here, right on the outer corner, just a little bit. I'm going to go in like I'm going in an angled direction. So just down like this. That's where I want it the darkest. It's going to be that outer corner. Going back in with that dark green from the Dare to Create palette. I'm going to blend out that black a little bit with it. So it still stays that dark musky green. And we're going to cut the crease anyway. So don't worry about if it goes too much into the lid. But... Now that that's like that, I'm gonna go back in with my Morphe M573 and grab the lighter shade from my other Morphe palette. And just gonna go around the outer corner here and here, bringing it up. Now, to make sure that we still have that brown in there, that darker brown, I'm gonna go back in with it and I'm just gonna grab a little bit and just right there put in that dark brown so you have that gradual effect i'm barely grabbing any brown from there and then once again going in with the lightest brown that we put down with my big fluffy brush this is the morphe e27 brush and going on top of all of that here all the way to the top and just in circular motions making sure that all of that is nicely blended. Going in back again with that black, I want it just a tad bit darker there. When you blend everything out, it seems like the colors go away. So I like to go back in and just bring it in more a little bit again, just so that those colors aren't lost. Because we still want you to be able to see them. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease here, clean it up a little bit. I love this musky green shade so much. I don't know why I tend to forget about it and then when I do it, I'm like, oh my god, I love this so, so much. Just gonna use my Luxie Precision Crease Brush and I'm gonna grab some of that primer and I'm just using that Anastasia one again just to cut the crease here.
and I like to bring mine up pretty high because my eyes are a little bit hooded so I want you to still be able to see that color so that's why I like to bring mine up pretty high I'm not gonna grab any like extra product I'm just blending that primer out I'm gonna go back in with that green shade the darker green I'm just gonna tap over it a little bit now in that inner corner I want a lighter green still pretty musky and like a forest green I'm gonna use this palette for that this is the misunderstood palette from the villains collection from Colourpop and I'm gonna use this green shade right there and I'm just gonna use that same brush that I just used to put the primer down to put it on my lid. I'm gonna put it without wetting my brush just to see if it looks how I want it. If not, I will wet the brush. It looks pretty nice without me wetting it, but I want a little extra. So we are gonna go ahead and wet the brush here. That's how it looks without it. I'm just grabbing my MAC Fix Plus and spraying it and going to go over it. And I'm just trying to blend it into that darker green here in the outer corner so it doesn't look like a harsh line there. I'm going to go back in with that dark green shade and just blend it in there with the shimmer and now I want to use some glitter because it's Christmas and I love glitter <laughs> I don't know if I should use this one the silver I kind of going for the gold I think I'm gonna use the gold this is the Urban Decay Heavy Metals glitter liner and it's in the shade Midnight Cowboy. So I'm going to use this. I'm kind of nervous to do this. I don't know if I want to do it this way or if I want to do a liner instead like a black liner and then put it over it. But let's try putting a little bit over the green. I think that's what I'm going to do because I want that extra glitter. So I'm just putting it over that green a little bit. Just like that. And I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to do the other side here. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back with the other eye done. And before we go into the lower lash line, I'm going to do my face first. So I've already moisturized. I moisturize with my Tidal Sunday Riley Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. So now I'm going to go in with a little bit of primer. This is the Tatcha the Silky Canvas Primer. And I'm just going to put that on my T-zone. And I've also already done my brows, obviously. If you guys don't have this primer, because this is kind of pricey and I have the small one, but the e.l.f putty primer that I've used before. That is a dupe to this. It's actually really close of a dupe. It does feel really nice just like this one does. So if you have that, use that instead. I just wanted to use this because I haven't used it in a while. Alright, now that I have that down, let that melt into the skin here real quick. While I do that, I'm going to make a little mixture of foundations. I'm going to use my Kat Von D Locket foundation. This is in the shade medium neutral and it's a little bit light. So I'm going to mix it in with my Juvia's Place I Am Magic foundation. And this one's a little too dark for me. So this is the shade Ethiopia. It's a lot too dark for me. So, so I'm going to mix those two together to make something more similar to my shade. So it's not too light, not too dark. Grab my um, Real Techniques body and face sponge. That Kat Von D Locket Foundation is thicker than what you would be used to. And I like it because it is very, very full coverage and it lasts 
all day. I like it a lot, actually. It's one of my favorites. Every time that I've run out, I've gone back and purchased another one because it is definitely one of my favorites. And even if you don't agree with Kat Von D and her shenanigans or whatever she believes in, she has really great products actually. So I have used a few of her products. So yeah, and this is one of them that I really do love. I want to go and purchase the contour kit of hers. I've had it before, but then I used it all up and never went back to buy another one. But I do remember liking that one a lot. So maybe I'll do like a little makeup haul or something like that once I go purchase all of the... Because there's a few things that I'm running short on that I want to purchase. So maybe when I do that, I will do a haul of some sort. So you guys can see it's really full coverage. Covered everything. <laughs> so I really like that. And now I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the shade Light neutral it is a little bit lighter than what i would like it to be but it works out at the end after i put all my powders on and all that so don't worry about it being too light because everything will work out at the end and for my concealer i'm gonna use this brush this is one of my crown brushes i don't know what the number is on it anymore i've had it for so long that I don't even know what the number is anymore. But I'm just gonna start blending this out. This is actually one of my favorite concealers. I know some people say that it is dry, like for your under eye and stuff like that, but I've never had that issue. I do have dry under eyes, so I don't know. Maybe it's the foundation that I use underneath of it or something. I don't know, but for me it works well. I do like it a lot. <laughs> You guys can see it. I'm pulling it down and then up. That'll help it blend better so it doesn't look too light. And once I put my powders on, it looks great. I'm just making sure that everything is good and blended, especially under my under eye because I do have creases there. I don't want that concealer to crease, so I'm making sure that it's nicely blended. And then after that, I'll go back in with my sponge and just make sure that everything looks good and blended so you don't have too much of a light. Just a little bit under your eyes here. crazy and your face doesn't look too crazy and it's still nice and bright right in the center there now I'm gonna go with my bronzer this is the Becca and it is the Ipanema Sun bronzer that looks like that it is also another one of my favorites I've been using it for two three years now it is definitely one of my favorites and I'm just using this Farrah 30F brush and I love this brush for bronzing it's perfect to get right in there and I go in a round motion because if I go like this I don't want that crazy line there I'm gonna go ahead and bronze the other side Gonna do some bronzing here on my forehead, just a little bit on top here. And we're gonna go in here. Okay, and I'm gonna bring it down, of course, into my neck. So, cause you don't want that line just to look like a line. There you go. And then, I'm gonna grab this Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. This is the ones that come in their palettes. I'm gonna go ahead and contour with this. I'm gonna just go ahead and use the same bronzer that I just used for my nose. And 
And then with the other side of the brush, I'm just gonna blend that. skinny little nose okay now that we have blended that in we are all set with that I'm gonna go with a little bit of blush I'm gonna go into my little Z palette here and I'm gonna use a mixture of these two so I don't want it too pink but too orange these are the ColourPop main chick blush and this is the glass slipper blush I'm gonna go with both of them and I'm using my Farah 50 F brush and just dip it into both back and forth. I'm going on the apple flow of my cheeks, pulling that up. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side, of course. We don't wanna look uneven, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna go and do the same thing here. There you go. And I don't like to leave my chin without anything on it and a little bit of my nose there that's that part now I'm gonna go in with my Ofra highlighter this is the one in Rodeo Drive that's what that one looks like so pretty I'm gonna go in with this brush this is my Moda brush it's just a real fluffy brush I really like this one I just want to put a little bit on all over and then I'm gonna use a smaller brush to just focus right on the top here it is such a pretty highlight you guys can see it's already a lot even though I barely even put anything on my brush and then I put a little bit on my forehead and here and now I want just a little bit more of a pop of that highlight so I'm gonna go in with a smaller compact brush like this one and this is just a SLMS glam brush this is the L36 and just gonna grab a little bit and I'm gonna spritz it a little bit and that I'm just gonna put right on top here I'm not gonna bring it all the way down just right there because that's where I want it okay and same thing over here just right there that highlight is insane and just in the middle of my nose with whatever was left I didn't put anything extra in there there we go and I'm gonna keep it well there you go now we're gonna go ahead and finish the lower lash line okay for the lower lash line here i'm gonna grab that darker green that we used for the top from the dare to create palette this one and we're gonna use this green right here just gonna go into the lower lash line here I didn't bring it all the way in, just right there. I left that inner corner open because I want my eyes, like I said, pulled out more. I don't want them to look closer together. Then with that same brush, which is the E36 brush, I'm gonna go into my other Morphe palette and use that lighter green that we used, which was this one right here. And just in case I didn't mention, this is the Boss Mood. 35M palette and I'm just gonna grab it with that same brush and just smoke out this lower lash line make sure everything is nicely blended for the inner corner highlight I wanted more of a golden one so I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Kilowatt in Trophy Wife and I'm gonna use that same brush that I just used dip it in here and put that in my inner corner Okay, and then for the waterline, I want to open up my eyes more, so I'm going to go in with a white liner. This is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. And as you guys can see, it opened up the eye a lot more if you were to put a black liner. Okay, and now I'm just going to go in with my Butter London Power Up Mascara. All 
we'll be right back i'm gonna add some lashes and i will be right back all right guys so we are back with lashes on <laughs> these are the ardell wispies and yeah so we're gonna go ahead and do the lips now i'm just gonna use this nyx lingerie liquid lipstick in the shade teddy And then in the center of that, I'm going to go in with this LA Colors Matte Liquid Lip Color. And it doesn't have a shade. Just going to use it right there in the center. I'm just going to blend it out with my finger here. And then I'm just gonna go in with my e.l.f. dewy setting mist. Alright guys, so this is the finished look for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in my next one. Toodles!